Can I also get a venti pumpkin cream cold brew? Okay, 869. Awesome, thank you. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to moving vlogs, I believe. This is moving vlog number two. It's a little bit after 12, which is why I'm inhaling this pumpkin loaf. I'm so hungry right now. Um, had a slower start to the morning. I got up, did work for a couple of hours, and then I had to have the Wi-Fi guy come and like fix one of the gateway connections. I think I talked about that in the last moving vlog. I haven't finished editing it, so I'm not sure like what ended up making the cut versus got cut out um but he came super nice very helpful got that all settled and now i am in woodbridge virginia i'm about to run over to the ikea over here because i desperately need a dresser for my closet i feel like that's what's been stressing me out the most the last couple of days just because all my clothes are sitting in a box and it's so difficult to find what I need in the mornings, especially getting ready for work. Like it doesn't really matter today. Like I just threw on a sweatshirt and leggings, but like I needed a specific pair of pants for work yesterday. And it took me like probably only like four or five minutes to find them, but that felt like a really long time. You know what I mean? I've gone back and forth a couple of times on if I wanted the dresser to be in the closet or to be part of like the actual room decor. And I think it just makes the most sense for it to stay in the closet because the room is so much smaller than my old one. Um, and then I went back and forth on if I wanted three drawers or four drawers because honestly I need the storage for four drawers but the three would just fit better and like how much I'm willing for my clothes to kind of like sit on the top of it, you know what I mean? Um, and of course the Ikea closer to me was out of stock of the four drawer option. So that's why I'm at this one. That's what I decided on. Hopefully it's still like in stock. It said that they had a bunch online so fingers crossed um but that is the update i'm gonna finish this pumpkin loaf i also got a venti cold brew because i need all the strength in the world emotionally not really physically but emotionally to find the will to build this ikea dresser myself i just i already know the rage that that's gonna bring out in me so gonna take a couple of minutes to eat this have a little bit of my coffee drive over to the ikea hopefully just like load everything up super quick and then head back to the apartment massive thank you to lol for partnering with me on this week's video i know i talked about it quickly on my instagram stories a few weeks ago but i am so obsessed with this mattress i was really excited to upgrade my entire sleeping experience in this space and lol was the perfect fit they have a really great business model that's super convenient offering a 365 night trial with free shipping, returns, and a lifetime warranty, which gave me a lot of peace of mind not being able to actually try out the mattress first. Um, but genuinely, I am sleeping so incredibly well on this mattress. I've been really struggling to get up in the morning for work. And as you can see in the clips, it's set up super easy. It was really quick. And Lowell doesn't use any harmful chemicals or ozone depleters in their products. I feel like when I told everyone I was getting a mattress in a box, they said it was going to take a few days for the smell to rub off or it was going to smell really bad. And I didn't have that issue at all, even immediately opening it. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below it to their website and the exact mattress I got. Like I said, I've been absolutely loving my mattress. So thank you so much to Lowell for partnering with me on this week's video. run was successful i can't remember if i talked about this earlier in the vlog but someone had to come and fix the oven down here because either like a part was missing or something wasn't installed correctly i'm not sure which but the guy came and fixed that still have a little bit of cold brew i have a call in like 45 minutes for work so i'm hoping that i can get at least maybe not entirely built but i'm hoping i can at least get the base laid out so that i know what needs to go where and can kind of knock it out after the call so I think my plan is to build this like bigger piece out here, 
slide that in the closet and then build the drawers and slide those in as well. I need to double check that that makes sense with the directions, but that is the game plan. Hopefully check in with you guys in an hour with at least like half a dresser built. on the record that I did measure before I bought this. I measured twice actually. Tape measures right here on my bed. Triple checked this morning. But you know what I failed to measure? The angle of which I would need this to fit in here. We failed to consider the fact that we should have built it in the closet. I don't think all hope is lost. I think I need to take all of these clothes off and try to like lift it in. I might need someone to come help me do that but not thrilled with my estimating skills this evening. In other news, I think I did a really good job putting this together. Like this looks solid. It took me like an hour to get this part done. This is definitely gonna be a cramped closet once this fits in just because I did go with the four drawers instead of the three, but I really do think I need that storage. So everybody stay tuned, say a quick prayer for me. Next clip is hopefully this in the space. Things are getting significantly worse before they're getting better. I initially took the top and this bottom piece off, hoping that that extra like inch and a half gap would be enough to kind of pivot the dresser into the space, but it wasn't. So I realized the only way that this was gonna get in was if I took off either the left or the right hand panel. So in doing that, this back piece had to go, which honestly isn't the end of the world. It's more decorative than functional. It like just doesn't make sense. The dresser doesn't have a back, but if it's in the closet anyway, it doesn't really matter. So fit that in. Definitely broke a few pieces in the process. The structural integrity of this at one point was really good. Now, definitely not so much. So I'm gonna try to put this bottom base piece back in, hammer these back in, and then go from there. Is this gonna last more than a month? I do not know. Is it in the closet? Yes. Yes, it is. I don't know what I did in a past life, but it was bad. <laughs> Whatever I did was bad. And I don't know why I thought the drawers would fit in if the dresser itself did not fit in. And you cannot assemble the drawers in the closet because there simply isn't enough room because the dresser's in there now. I think I literally have to throw this in the trash. I think I spent $100 today to learn a valuable lesson and throw this in the trash. A few days later now and I am ready to continue the vlog in better spirits. Let's do a quick recap. I think the last clip you guys saw was me realizing that the drawers were not going to fit in the dresser that I had just reassembled in the closet. And that was quite a frustrating moment for me. So I did try to assemble the drawers without that front piece and see if they could just slide in and then screw it on kind of inside the closet like I did with the front and bottom pieces of the dresser. but just didn't work at all. So didn't end up vlogging any more of that night, but I got dinner and drinks with my friend Adam and strategically drank enough to the point where the situation wasn't actively annoying me anymore, but I was still very functional because I knew I couldn't go to sleep with that situation not resolved. So I came home like a respectful four out of 10 drunk and disassembled it and reassembled it in my living room for the third time. Again, didn't feel the need to vlog. I feel like y'all have seen enough time lapses of me building a dresser. And that brings us to yesterday. I posted it on Facebook, like a super honest listing. I was like, listen, I've put this together three times. Like it's missing the back panel. One of the drawers is cracked. Like if you want it, come get it. Um, and someone's actually on their way to get it now, I believe. So that's good. Went to Target yesterday because I am very impatient as a person and that's 
definitely one of my biggest weaknesses is I hate waiting for things like I once I decide I want to do something I want to do it then I don't want to wait for shipping I don't want to wait for like assembly like I want things instantly solved so went to Target with new measurements bought a second dresser that I thought would be a better fit than it was like it does fit I'll show you guys maybe in a second um but it's honestly too small I'm like fucking Goldilocks right now um honestly this week has just been so incredibly frustrating i knew moving would be stressful and there's definitely some things um the dressers that i could have thought through more to prevent being as frustrated as i am but there's also a decent amount of things with this apartment that are out of my control like essentially every appliance in here needs maintenance or isn't working or like needs another service request or like somebody came to fix the dishwasher and it's it's still broken like things like that that are just like really frustrating and the apartment's just not functional right now like half again because i don't have like a dresser so my clothes are everywhere and then half because there's some like drainage issue with the sink like the sink clogs super fast the garbage disposal doesn't really work um my dishwasher doesn't work and i have the same one at my office it's super finicky but i've been using it almost every day for the last six months like I'm decent at troubleshooting it I looked up a tutorial on like YouTube with the error code and basically I just need a plumber to come here but something like that where it's like it's an entire drainage issue I just wish was fixed before I moved in you know like it's clearly a bigger issue if the sink won't drain the dishwasher won't drain like the garbage disposal doesn't work like something isn't right there and I don't have the skill set to fix that um and my landlord's been really helpful and super like understanding of everything it just like another thing to deal with you know what i mean so that was the majority of my day yesterday was just like feeling super frustrated because i set this unrealistic expectation that i would move in and like everything would be instantly perfect and i knew that that wasn't going to be the case but that was still how i was feeling and i was just it, it wasn't even that i was feeling sorry for myself i was just frustrated because i just want to feel settled and like in a routine i'm very much like a creature of habit you guys know i go to the same coffee shops and i have the same routine every morning um and going on like week two of not having that is just like really getting to me um and obviously this is such a privileged problem to have and i'm very aware of that like none of these problems are real problems like they're all very solvable very obtainable i just am feeling frustrated with it um but feeling better today i went out with some friends last night which i feel like was good for me just to like be out of the apartment and they came over here for a little bit first and just like saw the space and validated that this was like a good decision of mine um which i do think i really needed and then went out last night woke up this morning feeling not my best edited a video got that up and then ran to target which you guys just saw clips of figured i'd do a super quick haul because i've been talking now for like 10 minutes so hopefully this isn't too annoying but just like a couple small things i needed to like get things logistically moving like i said first being sponges i can't believe how many times i've been to target and failed to pick up sponges and like i said dishwasher isn't working so and then i also picked up a new shoe rack from target i don't know if you guys will really be able to see it but it has adjustable shelves which the one that i currently have doesn't so my heels don't fit in it i guess i just always had shorter shoes in it at my last apartment and the apartment before that so i think that this is going to make a big difference just because i don't want the shoes to be like folding over on themselves i feel like it's just going to end up destroying the backs of the shoes and this was pretty affordable i want to say it was like 28 32 dollars one of the two um so i'm going to put that together and hopefully clean up at least the top section of my closet and then the last thing I picked up was just a new cookie sheet because the oven that I have is significantly smaller than a standard oven. So the cookie sheets that I have just like 100% won't fit. And I have a little fresh box coming tomorrow and just knew that if I got home from like a long day of work and went to make something and it didn't fit in the oven, that would be like the final straw for me. So did that. This was actually from Home Goods. I feel like they always have a much better selection at a better price for any like baking cooking materials like that and then i just ran and grabbed some duncan it's slowly bringing me back to life feeling significantly better than i was this morning so that is the update i'm going to take a couple of minutes to put all of this away charge my camera for a little bit and then hopefully next time i check in with you guys the stressor will be gone and i'll show you some more exciting updates on like decor and rugs stuff like that
mini update clip after my previous update clip. It's been a few days since I filmed that one and I feel like things are so much more functional than they were. As you guys saw, I just made the bed. Definitely need to adjust this situation. These pillowcases are way more like sheer than I thought they were and I don't love that you can see that. So definitely need to switch that up a little bit, but the base is here so far. I have cleaned off this chair. The dresser situation is much better. I ended up getting a third dresser. I can't even remember where I left off that saga in this vlog and honestly, it's not even worth getting into, but this is dresser number three, if the camera would focus. There we go. So this is dresser number three. It fits much better. I am debating taking off the legs so that it sits a little bit more flush to the ground so that the shirts have more room. But I currently have a couple bins just like tucked under there with extra stuff. So just need to think that through a little bit more. But more or less, this is way better than it was Bathroom is pretty much the same. I ended up getting a new bath mat just because I feel like the white against the black tile just didn't really look that good. But that's the only real update in here. Bedroom, again, very minimal right now. Not 100% sure what I want to do with the walls, if anything. I think I want to get like two different sconces for either side. Need to look into that more as well. And then coming out here, I feel like this is better than last time. I can't remember the last time I did an overview clip, but everything is just much much cleaner than it was i feel like the couch looks more settled this tape here is for the rug that i ordered i'll insert a picture on the screen i'm super excited about it i feel like it'll kind of ground the space and fit really nicely so this is currently measured to be five by nine so the rug will come out like another foot or so this way either like in this direction or behind the couch a little bit but the length is pretty accurate which i feel like will fit relatively well i didn't want this to end up going too much further just because i like having a little bit of space here so i can always adjust the couch once the rug gets in and then i'm gonna hang up some wall art i have everything just kind of sitting over here but again if the couch might move slightly by a couple inches i don't want to hang anything until that's all settled and then as far as the kitchen everything is so much cleaner than it was nothing's really in its final place i still need to figure this stuff out i have some shelves i could hang up um, and just like a few small things are still coming in. I ordered a new drying rack that'll kind of fit in that little cubby over there and super excited about that. All the appliances are working, dishwasher, oven, everything is a go. This is looking a little bit better. I definitely want to get some nicer bins for down here just to throw like extra shoes or like random blankets, stuff like that. Just kind of tuck that away better in there. And then I feel like the last update was this storage cart that you guys saw that I built. It's very similar to the old one I had. It's just a little bit more narrow, so it fits in this little space right here, which is really nice um, and just kind of keeps everything tucked away. But that is the update. I'm super excited about everything. I feel like it's starting to feel a lot more functional, like I said. So very excited for the rug to come in and start kind of hanging some of the decor up and just making it feel a little bit more homey. But I think that that's everything for this week's vlog. I will have lol and everything else linked down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.